Hello everyone, my name is Stefan. I'm a volunteer here at the New Jersey National Guard and Militia Museum, and today I want to take you through the Mosin Agent. In the late 1880s, the Russian Empire always wanted to keep itself relevant and in a modern state for its military, contracted the help of engineers Sergei Mosin and Leon Agent to build a modern bolt-action rifle to replace the single-shot Verdun rifle. It is important to note the differences and improvements over the Verdun rifle include primarily around the fact that the weapon has an internal five-round magazine compared to the Verdun rifle, a single-shot weapon, giving a massive improvement to firepower for the average Russian infantryman. Its first case of conflict would come against Afghan tribes and other militia groups during the Great Game. However, its first major conflict in an actual more proper war would be the Boxer Rebellion, later the Russo-Japanese War, and on a much grander scale, the First World War. The First World War, the average Russian infantryman marched to all fronts with the Mosin Agent. And even during the Russian Civil War, every single side, no matter what ideology or allegiance, used the Mosin Agent widely. When the Soviet Union replaced the Russian Empire, they still continued to use the Mosin and update it and it would still serve as the average Russian infantryman's standard issue service rifle during Operation Barbarossa and the invasion of the Soviet Union by Nazi Germany. However, by the end of the war, 1945, the Mosin again would be replaced by more modern weapons like the SKS and a couple years later the AK-47, resulting in many Mosins being sold off internationally both to a wide variety of partners and countries. And it is very important to note also, being a Russian firearm, many different variants of the weapon were made. To give an example here, we have a Finnish Mosin again. We have a Soviet-made Mosin again. And interestingly enough, we have a, an American-made Mosin again, made in 1917. And many of these rifles can be seen here in our collection at the New Jersey National Guard and Militia Museum.